Hi everyone, I make Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoint templates to help people get ahead in their career and really to help you get ahead in your organization and at work. This one in particular is the nominal group technique where you can take a whole bunch of ideas or features and all of your team members can have a certain amount of points and use those points to vote on those features and all together when you add them all up then you can see which one you're going to proceed with. As you can see if we add, uh, if we add features to this particular one or if these team members vote on brainstormed idea six for example then that changes the rank and now we've got that's ranked number one and that's a really good thing to know and we can also tell uh, if to each team member has 10 points then we can see if a team member has gone over their points oh and as you can see team member two three and four they have gone over their 10 points and that's highlighted so that's a really great way to do nominal group technique let's get into the sheet the first thing we're going to do is just to, is just do the general framing and general coloring for this particular sheet and we might speed this up as we go uh, so we can get into the real goods and all of the formulas we'll make the width here around 10 and we'll make the the height around 25. We'll give our header a beautiful blue deep blue color and we'll just merge and center the top and now we can give us our heading as well. Now we want each team member has. We want the facilitator and we want to know the date as well. For these we want them to be in the middle. We'll put them over on the right hand side and we will just increase the indent a little bit. This facilitator we'll just merge and center that and then we'll turn that white so that we know where to put all of our information and we'll turn this one white as well. We'll give them a nice little border and we'll have the text go to the left and we'll just increase our indent ever so slightly as well. Make sure it's in the middle as well and we're just going to say points over here. Now let's start setting up the table so we know where to put all of, all of our data and we're going to give ourselves a nice thick border for the majority of it and for all of our heading areas. areas. Now for our top, what we want to do is just go to more borders and we want to do a few at a time. So we'll select a normal solid line, put it in the vertical space and click OK. And now that we've got that it's all set up and we're going to do the same for the rest of our table. So we'll go more borders again and we'll select a solid line and do that for our vertical. Uh, but we'll also do a horizontal dashed line and this might uh, just change one thing which we'll just set right back up again with our thick box and now we've got a beautiful looking table to work with. We'll make sure that everything is set in the middle and now let's make some beautiful colors up the top here. Let's give ourselves a beautiful turquoise color and a nice sandy sandy color just to keep with our theme and make it look really really nice and we'll give our text a little bit of white up the top and a little bit of a dark gray for the rest of it. For all of our boxes let's right click and format those cells and what we want is for that actually to wrap around so that it doesn't spill over. Now that's looking really really good. Now we're just going to center these particular ones as well. Maybe give them a little bit of a bold. And if we select the first one here and just drag it across that's going to give us uh, all of our team members and Excel is going to do the work for us. Now we can just add the features in. We'll add a couple of features so that we've got something to work with and we'll add a few points here as well. Just make sure that they're nice and centered. And now we can work on the total bar down the bottom and on the side. If we've got our total down here and if we just increase the indent a little bit, now we can say equals sum and open up our bracket and we'll just have the sum of all of that column that we're working with and that's going to give us the sum for that particular team member. Now we're just going to center that one of course as well. But we also want to know if that particular team member has gone over the points that we're looking at. So let's do that now. If we go to conditional formatting and if we go new rule, then we're going to say format only cells that contain cell value greater than, and it's the, the cell up here that we input the number of points that they have allocated. And we're just going to format that and give it maybe a little something to stand out, maybe a little orange there. And if we click OK, now we can see that we've got 20 points which is more than 10 points and that is standing out and that's what we want. Of course we want this sum to be all across the rest so we're just going to drag this all the way across. Now if we don't like these zeros we can actually do that with conditional formatting as well. We can say conditional formatting and manage rules. We'll say new rule and only cells that contain a cell value equal to zero. And if we format that and go to the font and say the font color can just be white the same as the rest of our sheet then if we click OK those zeros are going to disappear. Now we can do the same total on the right hand side and that's going to that's what we're going to use for our ranking system. So if we say equals sum and this is the sum of all of the particular features that we're working with and of course we're going to close that bracket off 
that gives us five for that particular feature. We're just going to center that of course, and then to copy that down, we will copy that and select all the rest of our cells, right click, and we're just going to copy the formulas only so it doesn't mess with our formatting. And so now that looks really good and the table still looks really good as well. But also we've still got these zeros in here. So we're just going to select all of these and do our same conditional formatting trick to say only cells that contain equal to zero and just get rid of that zero when we don't want it. We can go to view and we can now get rid of our grid lines and now we're starting to look really, really good for our sheet. The last thing we have to do is our ranking system. And to do ranking, all we do is say equals rank. And if we open up our bracket, it asks for the number and this is the number right next to it. And the reference, the reference that we're wanting is all of these particular ones. So uh, that's what we're wanting to reference it against. Now, when we input this formula, it's important for us to put a dollar sign next to the number. That way, when we drag it down, uh, it's actually, uh, it's, it's going to keep this same area, the same that we're validating our rank against. So this is really, really important. And we might just do it as a descending order. Now, if we click enter here, that's going to give us our rank. It's currently ranked number one because it's the only one available. Now, what happens if we take our, our rank and if we use our same trick, we copy that and we just paste the values or the formulas only. And now that's going to give us our ranks up here. As you can see, the one with the total of, uh, of more features, so 13 points more than all the rest is ranked number one and that's what we want. But we do have a few funny ones here. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of extra code to get rid of the ones that we want to be blank. And we do that by saying, if this cell is blank or if it's zero, so if it's zero or if it's blank, then what we actually want to do is return nothing. So just empty, empty quotes. Now, if it's not blank, then we want to do our ranking system. And if we press enter on that and copy that down again, with our formulas only. Now you can see we just have our ranked ones with no extra funny business in there as well and it's starting to look really, really good. Let's do the last bit, which is coloring our ranking system. And this is gonna be absolutely fantastic. We'll select this again and we'll say conditional formatting. We'll say a new rule. And this time we wanna say format all cells based on their values. And it's a two color scale. The lowest one, let's give it uh, just a, like a dark blue and the highest one, let's give it say uh, oh, maybe a white and so that way we will know. Now we've got our features that really stand out when it's number one and of course you can color this in any way that you like. And so this is our nominal group technique, our multi-voting where team members get multiple points, maybe 10 points. We can clearly see if they've gone more than 10 points and we can clearly see the features that everyone has voted for using the nominal group technique. This is a wonderful sheet. I've had such a great time creating this with you and I hope you've had a great time creating this with me. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.